Hello everyone, Espin here, and today um, I have an update and an important message. So, the update is, I'm pretty sure you can get every, you can get all of the wisp necessary to get into the final area on your own. Uh, path 1 and 2, pretty easy, pretty easy pass, I would say. They shouldn't be too difficult for anyone who does them. Path 3 is pretty difficult to do on your own. You need some good RNG and you need a lot of strategy. Uh, path 4. Path 4 wasn't too difficult. You need some pretty good towers and you need to play smart, but if you're. I'm not saying it's going to be the same for everyone. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. But just do your best and if you keep trying, you'll, you'll get Path 4. Path 5, for me, it wasn't that difficult. It was definitely a lot easier than path three. Path six to also took a lot of tries, but uh, I would say high range towers like the Spectral Bubble Tower and the Submarines work really well for that map. Path seven, uh, path seven, you just gotta keep trying it. You just saw uh, some pretty good towers, but not like expensive ones or water towers because you can't really get them anywhere good. That's my recommendations, but you don't have to listen. Path 8 and 9, uh, didn't do those. I did not do those, because they are really hard. And I'm convinced you will need multiple people I can try later, though. Path 10, uh, pretty good. The Echo Cannon, like the Echo Cannon Tower, works so well for that. So if you get it, uh, use it, because it has super high damage and it shreds through the armored, uh, like the really big armored guys in the boss. The echo cannons are going to be used for that one. <sighs> and now, um, after talking about the video game, I want to I wanna say something, like, just to be honest. Because when I was beginning this, I didn't think I would be able to get half of these alone. Like, Path 4, when you needed multiple people, I did it with someone else, and then I went back to do it again, because I wanted to see if you could actually do it yourself. I'm still working on verifying if path 3 is like like mainstream beatable because then that would mean cuz I know I've beat path 3 solo once but I don't know if that's like good enough to make sure that you can actually like do it again or you'd have to use that specific strategy on that specific map. But I didn't think half of these were beatable like path 10 didn't expect anything out of it but in general like I want to say this with more emphasis than like a YouTube short or like a TikTok because you see them every day but it, it's kind of hard to believe the th it doesn't matter if you can like lift a lot of weight or like have a ton of money the thing that's gonna make you the strongest is the fact that you don't give up because the, doing these paths like they hurt losing 50 times in a row doesn't feel very good at all the only reason I was able to beat it was because I just didn't stop. Like, 20 straight tries in, like, 4 hours, and you can get them. And then you'll just learn. So whatever you, whatever you want to do, step one is to be a good person. You're just going to be a good person. And step two is to never, never give up. You can do whatever, whatever you really want to do, and don't let anyone try and tell you that you can't. That's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope you follow by this rule. Thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.